All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. NBA season. NBA season is here. Let's pump in some crowd noise. Let's go. Very, very excited. Um, we're jumping into the Celtics and Sixers game today. Obviously, when we get going with the NBA videos, when there's a million games a night, we're going to jam pack more games into one video. But today, for opening night, we're doing one video on the Celtics um, and the Sixers game, and then we're doing one video on the Warriors and Lakers. So make sure to check out that video. They will both be up at some point today. But uh, yeah, very, very excited to jump into it, guys. If you are excited for this NBA season, please hit that subscribe button. We're almost on our way or almost at 12,000 subscribers. We just ended our giveaway for 11,000 subscribers. Um, and we you know we shout out to Luis for winning the jersey or Luis uh, for winning the jersey there. Guys, we're gonna do another giveaway at 12,000. What we'll give away? Not sure yet, but hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We got a few plays to jump into today. And I'm gonna try and refrain from being biased here. As you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm a big Celtics fan, but we do have a game to talk about here that um, I'm gonna approach from an unbiased sports better perspective. We got the Celtics two point favorites at home over the Philadelphia 76ers. Total is at 215 right now. And we're gonna jump into all of that today. But first, but first, but first, but before that, I gotta talk to you a little bit about Sportsline, guys. Sportsline sponsor of the show here they're the best place for your sports predictions process to start you out on the right foot they go through for nba nhl nfl mlb any sport college football they simulate each and every game ten thousand times so you can start your sports betting research on the right foot with some logic some computer driven information they give you a projected score projected box score they also have vegas experts on the site giving their picks and their rationale as to why so go check out sportsline guys you can use the link in the description to get three months of sportsline one two three months a quarter of the year for four dollars 99 cents it's usually a 25 dollars value sportsline is very generous generous genuine i can't speak this video sportsline is very generous to the sky boston viewers here and you can use promo code slant and that link in the description 4.99 for three months go check out sportsline guys but uh yeah let's jump into this lovely ball game here again we got the Celtics hosting the Sixers. And you guys are probably going to give me some hate for this, but our first pick of the day is going to be Celtics money line here. Now, looking at last season, the Celtics clearly ended up being the better team. They did have a rocky start. They kind of got it going. And everyone's talking about, oh, well, Ime Odoka, yo, this, that. I don't think the Celtics are really worried about that. I've liked a few things I've seen in the preseason. They still have their core. They get Malcolm Brogdon. I think this team is ready for this challenge. And I don't think that Joel Embiid, which you'll see in our next pick, Joel Embiid is going to be able to absolutely take over this game. I mean, I think the Sixers are going to have a tough time in this one. Now, I'm not saying the Celtics go out there and blow out Philly I think that they're just a better team overall now they may not have been at many points last season but where these two teams stands with their roster I do think the Celtics are the better team they're the better rebounding team the better defensive team um, better scoring team I think the only thing that I would say and maybe it changes this year um, statistically that the Sixers do a lot better than the Celtics is three-point shooting which is obviously a major factor in this league but I think that you know the pros outweigh the cons for the Celtics here and uh yeah you know what home team love the Celtics my number one team I get it you might think it's biased but I do think the Celtics are the better team here and now uh, you guys are really gonna think I'm biased here but I promise we do have some Sixers over actually to get into in a second but second pick is gonna be Joel Embiid under 27 and a half points now first and foremost I see that number and I say okay well guess what that is, Joel Embiid's a fantastic player like no one's arguing that right but 27 and a half points is a massive number, especially for opening night here, you know, when you're not in the rhythm of the regular season or anything like that. In fact, he's only hit this over, and I think he scored 29 points when he did a couple years back in one opening night of his entire career. Celtics in the last four meetings with Joel Embiid too have held him to 24 and a half points. You know Al Horford somehow is Joel Embiid whisper. I think that this one is a pretty good number. And again, I don't think Joel Embiid's gonna, you know, have a terrible game and drop, you know, 17 points and be a letdown for the Sixers. I don't think that at all. I just think 27 and a half, getting to 28 points is a hell of a lot. He can go for 25 and 15 and have an unreal game and still cash this under here. So I do like Joel Embiid under 27 and a half points. Obviously Celtics, best defensive team in the league at the end of last year. I think they're going to make it pretty difficult for Embiid. 
And I told you guys we did have, we did have some positive coming here. And it's Tyrese Maxey of the Sixers over three and a half assists. Now, I think this is an odd line. I think that there may be a little bit more or something that I'm missing here. But I will say all the research and everything I looked into says that this should be a lock. In fact, he averaged 4.3 assists last season. Um, Celtics middle of the pack defensive team against point guards here. And he hit this in 59% of games last year. Fifth on the team in usage rate. So the ball's going to be in Maxi's hand. We know he had a run where he absolutely went off. But 3.5 assists with guys like James Harden, Harris, Joel Embiid playing around him. I don't see any struggle getting this. This one seems like it could be a pretty early cashing for us. So those are the three picks of today's game. We got Celtics money line, Joel Embiid under 27 and a half points, Tyrese Maxi over three and a half assists. If anything changes, guys, make sure to keep an eye on the pinned comment. You can also drop the hashtag ride of the day in the comments and give me a play and i'll be jumping on board with one person uh, in the comments or maybe jumping on board with one person in the comments and if i do ride with you you guys will get a shout out win or loss in the next video and keep in mind these videos probably will change as we sort of suss out how the nba scheduling is going to go you know we did it last year we go through each and every game i think i'm probably going to stick to that maybe some big marquee games we'll do one-off videos for because that's when i like diving into the player props and everything like that but uh, yeah, keep an eye out for any sort of updates or whatnot on how we're going to schedule these videos. But yeah, uh, game, I was going to say week one, too much on the football uh, zone here. Um, yeah, opening night here, we got a Celtics video and we're also going to have the Warriors video as well. So make sure to check that out on the channel. But that is all I have for you guys today. Peace out.